I'm Ed from Sewing Tactical and today we're going to take a look at the Arthurian Airsoft Excalibur Offspring in both Midnight and Crimson. The Arthurian Airsoft Offspring is built from full aluminium with a six position adjustable stock, improved internals, quick change spring system, fire select with safe, semi and full auto, lockable bolt, key mod handguard and adjustable hop up. So let us have a look at the Offspring. So first of all we've got it in two colours, we've got it in the Midnight here and we've got it in this fantastically sexy looking crimson. I mean, look at that. It really makes it stand out. It's a real eye turner as well. In fact, due to the look of these and the performance as well, we sold out of our first batch in three months. So it just shows you how popular they are. They are really nice. Now, what we'll do is we'll start at the back with the stock. So we've got a six position adjustable stock. You can see there, nice support means you can adjust it for whatever length you are quite happily now on the back on both sides we do have the quick detach sling loop points this means you can attach quick attach sling to one end if you want perhaps the other end to the key mod now we've also got on that note we've also got our single point sling plate here which means you can attach sling to either side now inside here is the battery now to change the battery it's really simple what i'm going to do is I'm turn it upside down just pull the lever up, pull the stock off, and you have access to your battery compartment in the rear. This means you've got quite a nice easy way to change your battery nice and quickly. So, while the battery's in, let's have a listen to how it sounds. So we're going to go single first. You can see, really nice, really snappy, like the other Arthurians just beautiful to fire. Now the full auto. That is really nice, nice consistent rate. You're not gonna end up blatting tons of rounds into your opponents, which is good, because then you're not hurting them too much. But you do get a nice consistent rate, it's good fire, good for those burst shots, get nice rounds on target. Now even though this is short by the way, it still does have really nice range, really nice accuracy. Now, also on the stock, we have the quick change spring. Now, what you do is you undo this castle nut here. There we go. Push the stock forward, turn it 45 degrees to the right, and then you pull it off. Now, with it off, you can access this bolt. Now, I'm not going to undo it all the way, but I'm just going to demonstrate that you can see how easy it is. You just undo this, and the spring will come out and then you can put a new spring in. So when you need to change a spring, or you may want to reduce the power if you're at a CQB site that has lower FPS settings, or if you need to up the power for some reason, then you can quite happily change the spring easily. It means you don't have to take it to a tech, it means you don't have to worry about fiddling with tools, don't have to worry about that ever popular exploding gearbox problem that those of us that have tried dismantling one all know about. There we go. So then you just put the stock back on, and then we just tighten back up the castle nut. There we go, and then what we do is we have a nice solid stock that's in position, ready to go. Right, so next up, we've got the dummy forward assist and the charging handle. Now the charging handle, pull back, and it will open up the dust cover and lock back the fake bolt. Now this means we can then adjust the hop unit easily, without having to do the whole thing of, oh, hold back the charging handle, adjust with the other hand, and then let go of the charging handle back so it'll trap your finger. Now, when you're done adjusting your hop unit, really simply, we just depress the bolt release catch and get a lovely, nice, crisp closure. Then we can just close out the dust cover and away we go. Now, the other feature on this side is the magazine release. It does come with a 300 round high capacity magazine. And of course, we also have the trigger, which I just want to point out is also finished in this lovely crimson, which gives it a lovely effect. So, what I'll do is I'm going to swap over onto this side now. And on this side, you've got the bolt release catch with SIM, we've got the trades, and we have the fire selector. Now, the fire selector, it's got really nice detents, so as you'll hear now, has a nice click and it holds it very well. Yeah, you do have to put a little bit of force in to get it to turn, see? There you go, if I put a little bit, and there we go. Now the pistol grip as well, it's not your stand M44 grip, 
I find this style of grip is much more comfortable and gives you good performance, gives you a good hold. Preferred grip over the standard M4 style, I think. Now we have the full length top rail for attaching sights. At the minute we have the adjustable iron sights. So flip them up, you can adjust the rear one for windage. There we go. The rear one can also be flipped up for a tighter peephole or a wider one, which is quite nice. And then if you're not using them because you've got a sight on top, you can either remove them or you can just fold them down like this. Now the hand guard. So as you can see, the hand guard is, we've got the top sides, the sides, bottom sides, and then the bottom, all has key mod slots. So you can attach key mod rails to this. I will just point out, it doesn't come with any in the box, but you can attach key mod rails if you've got lots of railed stuff, or if you want to, you can go out and buy key mod ready accessories, which will just bolt onto this quite happily. Now this means you've got a good amount of customization options. You can put grenade launching, put foregrip, torches, lasers, all that kind of funky stuff on here without much issue. And you've got lots of choice of where to place it, because you can have it up here, you can have it on the side. It gives you lots of options. Now, as this is a smaller gun, I'd imagine you're gonna mostly want this for CQB, so the option to be able to mount it and make things more slimline easily will be something that appeals. Now, at the front end, we have the fantastic muzzle of this. I mean, look at it. Look at that face, that does bring terror to your enemies. Now inside the muzzle, as we shall call it, is the actual muzzle and flash hider. Now this is attached to a 14mm counterclockwise thread, you just have to undo a grab screw, you can take it off, you can put a longer barrel in, you can put a tracer, you can put a suppressor, all really quite happily, which means that you know, if you want, you can have the tracer on, you can get your BBs glowing in the dark as you shoot, or if you just want to give it a kind of cool suppressed look, you can do that as well. So overall, the Offsprings are really nice. They make great guns, particularly for those of you interested in the CQB style environment. However, if you don't want to use it for CQB and you want to take it out into the bigger game zones, still happily cope. It still has good range, good accuracy. Overall, very good gun, particularly with its tuned internals like the other Arthurium. It has the reinforced tappet plate, the 15 metal tooth piston, and the eight millimeter bearings, which gives this a slightly superior, more durable quality, which makes it very nice. Overall, really good gun, very good for CQB, but if you want to take it out into the bigger sites, also really good choice. Overall, definitely worth buying, very popular, very nicely made. Thank you for watching.